Hello everyone, my name is Nock Nguyen, and today I'm going to be talking about pharmacy. I will include the history of pharmacy and how it progressed to what it is today. The pharmacy practice could be date back to as early as 2600 BC in ancient Babylon. During this time period, a pharmacist would be called the apothecary. The apothecary does some of the jobs that the pharmacists do in our society today, which is preparing and selling medications to doctors and patients. Historically, the only way to become an apothecary is through apprenticeship. The apprentice is like the student of the apothecary. Under this system, if you want to become a pharmacist, you have to work side by side under a professional practitioner and learn by observing and doing medicine related activities under the supervision of the apothecary. This system is a bit different from modern day pharmacy practice. Although pharmacy school admission committee view working at a pharmacy positively, it is not necessary to work in a pharmacy. One thing to remember is that if you do not work in a pharmacy, it is best to shadow a pharmacist or get a glimpse of the pharmacy occupation. Shadowing is a bit different from apprenticeship because you cannot work with a pharmacist. The student cannot work in the pharmacy and assist the pharmacist without a pharmacy technician license. Also, most pharmacy school required at least one recommendation letter from a licensed pharmacist. In 1821, the first U.S. college was opened in Philadelphia. This is an important point in the pharmacy profession. After the first school was built, other schools started to follow the same path and build their own pharmacy schools. By the late 1860s, academic health centers began to emerge and clinical pharmacists transitioned towards a more patient-oriented practice. In the 1940s, the pharmacist would only need to have a four-year bachelor degree to be called a pharmacist. The bachelorette degree is a PhD. An additional year of study would award them the degree in pharmaceutical chemists. Even further study could earn the student the degree Doctor of Pharmacy or PharmD. In America today, you have to earn a Doctor of Pharmacy degree to become a licensed pharmacist. This is because of the massive change in the pharmacy field before the 1900s. The pharmacist does the role of the pharmacy technician, which is to dispense and sell medications. During this time, the pharmacist was not allowed to counsel patients. The pharmacist was not allowed to counsel patients because the job was strictly for doctors. It wasn't until 1900s the scope of pharmacy curriculum changed. It has been shifted towards a more patient care oriented. The pharmacy philosophy changed to pharmacists accepting responsibility for assisting patients to obtain the very best outcome for their use of medications. This model has carried out till today. The pharmacy practice has come very far. Pharmacists are now trained to do more than they initially do. Some of the new jobs that pharmacists do are giving immunizations, prescribing medications for acute diseases such as cold, cough, or fever, doing rapid tests for cholesterol, blood pressure, and blood sugar, doing HIV counseling and testing. Also, the pharmacist also could counsel patients on family planning and much more. In conclusion, the pharmacy practice has changed greatly from what it used to be before the 20th century. Back then, the pharmacist does the work similar to that of the pharmacy technicians we see today. They dispense and fill medications. Now, the role of the pharmacist is expanding more towards clinical patient care.